This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I've got a double feature for you. Some fun to be had tonight. So the first part of this video is going to be airfield and it's going to be pretty normal all the way up until the ending. The ending is so funny that I guarantee you'll have at least a smile even though I'm in an argument. And the second match I have no idea what's going on outside right now. I'm not going to lie. I live in the middle of nowhere. You guys know this, right? Well, I've heard about five or six either fire trucks or squads or or police or something come rolling up into the middle of nowhere, and I don't know if somebody's had an accident out at the edge of our property or what. Uh, I might go check that out after I'm done recording. Uh, you know, do a little rubbernecking. <laughs> Maybe not a good idea considering it's 9 o'clock at night. But I live on a dirt road, and what happens is a lot of times uh, guys get a little too cocky. They're sliding their trucks around, having fun. And it doesn't take much to screw up and end up in a tree. And I'm not joking. It happens quite a bit. Most of the time, no harm, no foul. They bust up their truck a little bit. Nobody gets hurt. Everybody gets out, and they, they call their buddy, come get them pulled out or whatever. And, you know, that's the most that comes of it. But occasionally, I mean, people can get hurt. It is very dangerous. But anyway, I'm assuming that's probably what happened. There's probably a wreck out in the middle of nowhere out here. Um, shot out on the Tiger 2. Pow! 873. But the second match is going to be on Insk. All right. Insk is an Artie's worst nightmare. I hate Insk. You guys know this. I hate it. There's no reason for an Artie to be on Insk. But we get lucky and we get to have some fun. You'll see that in a moment. But I'm with Pure Terror. Pure Terror is on top of the hill in the middle right now. And we're just going to try to help him get some damage. Shot out on the waffle. Got him. <laughs> now you see, I'm just moving because initially when I shot the first shot, I thought my screen shook like somebody took a shot at me. So the rest of the game, and you can see the Conqueror GC's got the same idea. He's moving all over the place because we're in known already hot spot. So, if any Artie's trying to counter battery, it's not going to take a rocket scientist to figure out where we are and how to kill us. Ooh, shot out of the Tiger 2, and immediately back up, we get the hit. Terror, unfortunately, goes down before we hit the Tiger 2. Uh, but, you know, that's a thing that happens once in a while. Uh, he got some spotted damage, so he's not going to have the worst game ever. Um, and that's kind of kind of what happens in the next video, too. But uh, except the spotted da spotted damage is mostly from me in the next one, and he gets quite a bit of it, or at least a decent game. We'll just put it that way. Shot out, and that was a terrible shot on the Pershing. Unfortunate. But uh, as you can see, this this map is playing out kind of unusually. Our team, the majority of our team, went to Center Hill, and that doesn't happen very often. And then the rest of our team is holding the right side. The good news is, because there's so much people on the top of the hill, they're obliterating. Like, this E4 has been obliterated. Now, the E4 derps a shot. It's a guaranteed kill for that medium tank. T-54 takes him down, and he should have. Uh, 215B shot out, and he immediately pulls forward. But we do track him. Um, so, not a complete waste there. We did track him. Of course, we get no assisted damage for it, because... Lord have mercy if somebody on my team would ever shoot something that I track. That's why I hope to God that stun mechanic never shows up. Because I never get any assisted damage. Nobody ever shoots a tank that's tracked. Oh, Conqueror's begging. Shot out. Right. Okay. Get me all hyped up for nothing. Oh, game. Why you gotta be so troll? Artie's lit. There's the tank destroyer up there on the ridge line. What is it? It's an RHM Borsig. Come here. Come here. And he stops. Shot out. Now watch where this, this round lands. It hits the back of the rock that is protecting the RHM. It shouldn't be possible. That shot should have hit that RHM. How can it go over the top of a rock and then hit the back of the rock? That makes no sense. That rock, that round would have literally had to go straight up in the air and drop straight down on top of that rock to land the way it did. Shot out on him again. 
and it overshoots. Darn it. That's the problem with taking three and a half second shots. When you're taking a shot and it travels three and a half seconds, a tank can move quite a ways. And if you miss by even a little bit of where you're aiming, even if you placed it perfectly, if that shot doesn't hit where you're aiming, you're, you're still missing the shot. Now, I'm no genius, but it sounds like a fire truck may be coming down my uh, driveway right now. Um, but the show must go on. We're recording right now. <laughs> So until a fireman decides to walk up to my door and start banging on it, I'm probably just going to sit here and record. Because the show must go on. Now watch this E5. He's got himself into a predicament. He's up against a Pershing and a Batchat. And he's shooting the Pershing when he should be shooting the Batchat. The Batchat dumped on him hard. And shot out. And watch this Batchat. Now I'm not going to lie. That Batchat obviously is going straight for me it's exactly what he did he literally turned and beelined it straight for Artie corner i'm no dummy watch how far away i can spot this guy because of my perks and everything watch wait for it there it is <laughs> hi bat chat he can't even see me yet and shout out oh we were a little late on that one he knows where we're at now, this Conqueror gun carriage is in a bad predicament. He's got a bat chat closing fast, and I just wasted my shot. He's, claw he's calling affirmative for a reason. All he's going to get is obliterated when this bat chat shows up, right? Get ready to, to have a little bit of fun, guys. This is probably the funniest bat chat engagement I've ever seen in my life. Two arties. Oh, here he is. Broadside shot out. I direct impacted this broadside of a bat chat for only 700? That's bullcrap. Of course, no gun. the gun carriage has no gun depression whatsoever, so he can't do anything. But look at the ring around the rosy. This bat chat literally has sat in front of us, and, done, and I didn't mean to tell him to stop. I was telling him that I had nine seconds left. Come on, Spartan, get up there. He's just bouncing round after round because he's auto-locking the, the heaviest armored arty in the game. Now, he's out of rounds. He's running away. I'm going to try to chase him down. Now, don't take this next shot, ever. Don't do it. Most of the time, you do what I'm about to do. You fail, and you lose, and you don't do any good. You die, and the team loses. Just don't ever take that shot that I just took. Ever. Ever. Okay? Just so we're clear. Ever. Okay, now the next shot is perfectly acceptable. You'll see what I mean in a moment. I do live to tell the tale. This bat chat is going to get a second arty, and he's going to get more than he bargained for with the third arty. <laughs> no pescucci for you, bat chat. Get ready, because here comes the fun. Oh, I'm trying to be cheeky. Nope, I've got no shot. He's going to kill that arty. There's nothing I can do about it. But there is something I can do about him killing this arty. Shot out and rammed to death. <laughs> After all of the chasing, after all of the bounces that he had to lose by getting shotgunned and rammed to death by an Erty. That's the ultimate awesome finish. <laughs> what do we got? 3,000 damage and two kills. We get the uh, kamikaze for killing a guy by ramming him. We get the rock solid for being in an Erty and surviving the battle after ramming a guy to death. That's amazing. Now, for the second match, Insk, I promised you, it's going to be fun. It's going to be quick, but it's going to be fun. So right off the bat, I asked Terror what his plan is, because I'm an arty. There's not crap I can really do on this map except shotgun and hope. Well, Terror says he's planning to come to the field. Well, that's good for me. If he can spot the guys, I can actually hit people in the field, and I might actually have a decent match if he stays alive long enough. So can we do it? Well, let's put it this way. Would I be showing you a crappy replay? I mean... I've showed you some, you know, sketchy replays from time to time, but a crappy one? No, I don't think so. Not too many. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Terror's going to come over to help. We've got a light tank encroaching already. We've got a bat chat up here ready to clip him out, so he backs off. Now, what's the first tank I see? Oh, Waffentrager Panzer IV. We've got Object 140. There's the target. Medium tank, fast mover in the open field, 
take a shot when you get a chance, and shot out. Pow, 775. Not bad. Not bad. But we're a long ways from being safe. Now, did that discourage the guy? Did it knock him backwards? What is that in the back? Oh, that's a hearse. Get out of there, terror. Don't let him shoot you. <laughs> now, this guy has most of his health left. If I'm not mistaken, about 1,500 hit points worth. Look at this, though. I got just the angle to get over the building he's hiding behind. Shout out! Pow! That was a paddling. <laughs> and I know it was about 1,500 hit points because that's what I ended up getting from him. So there's 1,500 hit points right off the bat, plus the 700 we got off the first object for 140. So we're over 2,000 damage on Enskin and Artie. It's not bad, but we're not done yet. Object 140, number two. Shot out. 764. So basically the exact same roll on both of those objects. And now we're just waiting for reloads. They are shooting nothing but uh, heat through the uh, turret, or through through the E-50M that is poor. I think he's in the E-50. Is he in the E-50 or is he in the object? I can't remember. Chieftain alert! British heavy tank encroaching. She's loaded. Ooh, I about wasted a shot. Shot out. Pow! I have no idea how much I just hit him for, but I did hit him. Now we pull forward because they are getting way too close and there is not crap I can do about it. And then as I get about halfway loaded, I start backing back up a little bit to try to see if I can't help Terror and get over the building. Terror then dies. Now these guys are going to come at me hard. Oh, they're circling another medium tank. They've spotted me. They've got Artie on me. I've got to go ahead and hug the building. Now, I'm in shotgun position. I've got a T-28 tank destroyer. And watch the map. And... Shotgun. <laughs> First kill, or second kill of the game. Now, this chieftain just lost all of his fast movers and is now all alone. And he knows that Artie is back here, and he knows that there's a T-28 back here as well. Now, if I was him, I would kill the T-28 and then move in on Artie. But, you take the chance of the moment you shoot at the T-28, the already coming out to get you. Now here, I'm not in shotgun mode, and shot out, and it misses that much in Artie mode. Now watch, I am dead to rights, right? Right? And he shoots the dead tank's barrel. <laughs> this is going to be the greatest episode of Artie dodging ever. Wait for it. He's got his back of his turret turned because he's facing me, and the T-28 knocks him out of the match. You can't make it up, folks. Sometimes you're just too smooth. <laughs> and sometimes the world of tanks smiles in your favor. Oh, T-49, and shot out. Just didn't give it enough time to aim in there. I jerked the shot a little bit. You can rotate the turret of the or this uh, turret on this 60 degrees, 30 either direction. Um, but unfortunately, I jerked it a little bit too much and ended up uh, blooming out. But five hits, two kills, not bad. 4,200 damage on Enskin and Artie. Second on the leaderboard. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.